And this morning it is the DCB time, and this morning we have Michelle Davis. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Dylan. How are you today? I, you know, I am ducky. I am Yay. just absolutely ducky, and uh, you're here with mm -hmm. a couple of gentlemen. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, yep. Go ahead. Well, I say we're here, here because in two weeks from tomorrow, oh my gosh, we are putting on a production of The Carpool mm -hmm. at DCB, of course, December 1 at 8 o'clock in our Alumni Conference Center, which is upstairs at Thatcher Hall. Okay. And um, what... Clint used to do, Clint Saunders used to do the plays for us, you know, when he was here. Mm -hmm. And since I started taking over last year, I've decided to do two plays a year instead of just the one. So in the fall, we do a drama. And in the spring, we do our comical dinner theater. And it is fall this time. Yes. So this is a drama, and it is called? The Carpool, and it's by Laura Hem Hembry. Okay. Um, this, this play actually won the Paul Green Award in... Um, Detroit when it was first produced. Mm -hmm. So it and then it's for young artists. This is a very emotional play. There's five male characters who are and um who are in a carpool mm -hmm. who work for a government contractor for the Pentagon. And this is like pre nine eleven when um there's a lot of downsizing in government contracting. Okay. And these gentlemen go through the the highs and lows of the American dream and it's it's funny. There's some funny lines in mm -hmm. here. Um, Sydney, and that from Sydney, has some really good lines. Uh, Quincy over here from Georgia, he's got some really good lines. There's some real humorous moments, but there's some really deep and dark moments, in it, and it is. It's just it's eye opening. So this whole play takes place in a car. In a car. Okay, it, it, and it's just it's just like one moment in time. It's over a six month period. Oh, okay. So over six months. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, so essentially, it starts at, at towards the beginning of the Washington Redskins football season mm -hmm. and ends uh, just about in time for Easter. Okay. All right. Now uh, the five different characters. We have two of them here. Sydney mm -hmm. from Sydney, Australia. Yes. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning. Love it. <laughs> we, need, we need to get in for the Outback Auto Body ads. We really do. <laughs> and and Quincy Jones. Good morning. From Georgia. Yes, sir. Okay. First of all, Sydney. Who do you play? Uh, I play uh, Carl. He is uh, 31 years old and he's in the advertising department. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working on a language barrier here. Is it Carl or Kyle? Carl. C A R L. Carl. <laughs> okay, Carl. I, I was spot on. Okay. Yes, it is That's, Carl. I yeah. Love the accent. I really do. We, I, I'm, seriously, we're going to get you for the Outback ads. You need to do that. Because <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting burned out. No, I'm not. But anyway, so hi to you, Sydney. Uh, so you play Carl and a 31 year old. In advertising, yes. Okay, okay. And are you, you're one of the main... There's five different characters. You, you Kind of the lead? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah my... The, well, between both. between yeah. Quincy and Sid, they in that they have the two the the two roles that have the most lines, who have the most impact in the okay. story. And that the other three... Um, uh, I have one who plays a very old gentleman um, who is like at retirement age and he's just holding on mm. um the other one is you know trying to keep his job and doing everything he can to keep his job and the other one, the other one is just so well actually sydney's all wrapped up in himself um or say <laughs> carl's all wrapped up in himself and that but the other character he's just kind of he's kind of like middle of the road he's you know he kind of goes with the flow but he causes a little bit of ripple okay so. mm -hmm. and quincy who do you play i play as willard okay. willard is um Thirty-five ish. Thirty-five ish, and uh, his uh, wife is like battling cancer and everything. Oh no! Okay, yeah. so young, young guy. Young guy. And with with young a family, wife. two little girls. With a family, two little girls. Okay, who drives? They all do. Oh, Everyone. they all take turns driving. Yes. <laughs> Hence the term, carpool. Yes, and that's Got the it. craziest part with this set is because we have to have five cars. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. All right. But actually, we're going to build two cars. Okay, and just kind of switch them around a little bit? Yeah. Make them look a little different. Exactly. Perfect. You know, All right. l l change the door handle here, change the headlight <laughs> there. Yeah. Right. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So we got Carl, we have Willard, and uh, the other three gentlemen, uh, Just everybody takes turns driving? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, we have Tyra Scheller, who's on the football team, who plays Arthur, mm -hmm. and then we have Michael Bennett, also from the football team, mm -hmm. and he plays Gene, and then we also have... Tyler Schaefer from the baseball team as well. Okay. And Tyler plays the character of Raymond. Okay. All right. Now, the, the play is coming up two weeks from tomorrow. Yes. My, I have heart palpitations. Yes. <laughs> You've earned them, I'm guessing. Yes. With, with, a, with a five cast, a five person cast, it, it must be kind of tough, but you're seeing it all come together, right? Yes. Well, and actually, when we started this whole adventure, if you will, we had a different play. We were doing a Greek tragedy. 
And then we got about what three weeks into it, and one of my yeah. one of my cast members said, "I can't do this anymore," and I had a panic attack and came up with option B. <laughs> so you went for something easier then, obviously. A little bit, Not. yes. Okay, okay. So it is uh, Thursday, December first. What time? Eight o'clock. And this is in? The Alumni Conference Center upstairs in Thatcher Hall. Okay. And what's the admission cost? It's $7 for uh, for adults. Mm -hmm. Students mm -hmm. are free. This does have adult language in it, so I do not recommend it for anyone who's younger than really like junior high age. Okay. Well, and okay. Then, I mean, just because, I mean, there's raw emotion. Um, what Quincy's character goes through is like towards... Well, about in that because it's a two-act play. In the second act, he's he's got some really raw emotion going on, so his language gets raw. And Carl is like, like we said, he's thirty-one. He's in advertising. He has a possible drug problem. Uh, he's Spoiler alert! <laughs> I said it possible. Okay. And that, but he uses a lot of raw language as well. Okay. And you know, I don't want par parents to come thinking that this is going to be a family-friendly show. When it's really a very emotional, very dramatic adult production. Okay. All right. So uh, you know, I'm 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 looking forward to this. I really am. Thank you. I hope you so, do come. I I would I would like that Thursday. Uh, what time is it again? Eight o'clock. Thursday, eight o'clock. All right. And it's December first. December first. Yes. At the Alumni Center. Yes, and we will have like a small fifteen inter fifteen minute intermission between Act One and Act Two. Okay. Yes. All right. And since everybody gets a chance to drive, we're going to, like, between the scenes, we're going to be throwing different clothes on every, everyone. It's going to be a of riot. Of course. Okay. It's going to be a riot. Okay. Well, I hope it goes very well. So do I. Uh, what do you have planned for the, the springtime one? Uh, you have nothing yet? I don't have anything yet. Um, I've, I've been really entertaining this idea and that there is a, what is it? What was it? Uh, oh, shoot. There's a zombie, um, a zombie play out there that it's, for some reason is, like, striking my fancy, and I don't know why. A comedic zombie play? Why not? Shaun of the Dead. Exactly. Evil Dead, that's what it is. It's Evil Dead, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right. But we'll see. And that, cool. Maybe things will change. I have a lot more females who are interested in doing the show in the spring than are able to do productions okay. during the winter. Okay. I, I almost I have to allude to a Quincy, Quincy Jones. Not the Quincy Jones. I mean, the Quincy Jones here, but not, not the famous record producer who worked with Michael Jackson. Not that guy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Also, uh, quick note about Quincy Jones. You remember the Austin Power movies? Yes. You remember the theme song? Mm hmm Quincy Jones wrote that. You're so Congratulations. Popular. Awesome. <laughs> Austin are you, are Powers. Getting, are you getting that royalty check? I wish. I wish. <laughs> right. Everybody wants uh, Quincy Jones a royalty check. Uh, mm -hmm. Quincy, thank you very much this morning, bud. Thank you. Uh, Michelle, thank you very much. And Sid, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, quick, quick. Slim another shrimp on the Barbie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it? Uh, just chuck another shrimp on the Barbie. Okay, now now say something in, in you know in in America. <laughs> what you got? And then, do do your um, <laughs> I'm um, not putting him on no, the spot. speech. Yes, do your From little American. Can you do your little American? Sure. Uh, Hold on, he's got to grab. He's got to grab. He's got to grab a, a scene because <laughs> he's got this one spot where he actually does do an American. Folks, this is an Austra a true bred uh, Australian going to do an American accent. Just grab a section, dear. And then Quincy, we're going to quiz you on a little Australian accent, too. There, just use this. <laughs> um, see first, fire first, hit first with American Dynamics. Uh, the force behind the armed forces. Oh, that's, that's, great. that's great. Now, Quincy, can you do a little Australian accent? What's good? For American Dynamics, it's good for America, right? <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. Two weeks from tomorrow, it's Carpool uh, Student Alumni Center at the college. Uh, seven bucks to get. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the Student Alumni Center. Just the Alumni oh, Center. Oh, I was so close. You were this close. This close. Alumni Center. Seven o'clock. Uh, eight eight o'clock. Seven dollars. It's a lot of numbers. Seven dollars to get in. Yes. For adults. Yes. And please, uh, no, you know, no young kids. No. Please. Appreciate it. Sam, Great. give me five. Yeah, an Australian five. Go quick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. And, yeah. All right. Eight thirty-eight.